Hey there everyone, Thackard here, and welcome back to Skoso's Adventures in Star Wars Galaxies. Skoso is our Transdotion Force Wielder. Currently we are still in the starting area around Tansari Point Station at Ord Mantel, and we have been completing the missions there. We have completed the ground-based missions on Tansari Point Station, as well as uh, Station Gamma. We uh, started our space-based missions last time, where we got in our instruction on how to fly, move around, shoot, that type of stuff. And now we're actually on to some, uh, some specific combat uh, missions. Currently, we are going to assassinate the assassins. We've been dealing with Black Sun, and now we are going to lure them out and take them out. But first, we're going to look at some components, because over the last couple missions we've had, We've collected some debris, some components that we've looted from other ships, and we're going to slap some of these on. First off, we grabbed ourselves a new reactor, and if we look here, over here, we have, it gives us a little bit more energy, about 1,600 more energy for about, what, 250 less weight. So this is definitely something we're going to load up. The main one we want to load up is this guy right over here. This is a booster. This will allow us to move around faster uh, out in space. So this is something that we definitely want to have here. Uh, unfortunately, I do believe it will put us over weight. I don't think we'll be able to equip it. Oh no, we did. Okay, excellent. So we have that equipped. How are we doing? I want to make sure everything... No, no, no. I take all that back. We do not have it equipped. Unload this. We need to load up this reactor. There we go. Reactor is loaded. Uh, do we have enough space? No, we do not. All right, so we, we're going to try and pull off something. Uh, we, we would lose too many shield, too much shield. Maybe we could get rid of a little bit of front armor. That's almost 100 front armor, though. It does save quite a bit. We also have a weapon we could switch over to. Right now we are using the prototype weapons. They are 330 to 420 and split evenly between shields and armor. Or we could use a sub-pro light ion cannon. A little more fragile, a little more energy drain. It doesn't weigh nearly as much. It does slightly less damage and it's more effective against shields than it is armor. I think we tried this. Load it up. Are you loaded? There you go. I think that will free up enough weight that we can use. Here we go. The Starship Boosters. Excellent. Okay. Some of the other things that we have here, we have a couple of collectibles here. We have a Mark 1 flawed uh, capacitor, which we'll add to our collection. Yep. We have another, uh, oh, sorry, this is a different piece of the Mark 1, so we'll grab that as well. And we have a flawed uh, Kynosair Mark 1 engine, so we'll grab that and put that into that collection. Remember, if you want to see the collection, you hold Control shift c and then we can go over here to our space collections, and you can see, here's that kind of ser uh, one that we, no, no, this is a reactor. This is the kind of ser engine, I believe. And here are two capacitors, so. And when we get those, we will get these uh, specific components, so. Let's get ourselves launched into space. Take a drink. All right, there is our target. So our weapons are going to be slightly less effective. Hopefully that won't get us into trouble. We have installed the booster, so this will increase our speed. If you look in the middle of the screen at the bottom of the two circles there, you see that 427, that is our maximum speed right now. We hit the booster though, we can increase that up to 570, although you do shake around and move around a bit, so you definitely want to keep your hand on the mouse and keep steering while you're in boost. Those are our new weapons. Sound different, look different. These are ion weapons, so these are more effective uh, at taking out shields. 
theoretically they should be more effective w about uh, with disabling things like engines and sh uh, components and stuff like that but I do not know if that's a thing in game all right civilian lambda shuttle a couple of Cardus fighters we are trying to draw out the bad guys We got a target. These are our guys. Woo! Oh, we splash him quick enough. Alright. There we go. Where's our next target? Just shuttles flying around. That shuttle's awfully close to me. Nice. I think these actually might be doing a little more damage because they're knocking those shields down a little quicker. And most times, shields are the least... Uh... Oh, here's our target. We're going to go after this guy's uh, reactor to try and disable him just so we can make him a little easier to take out. Most ships have... Most ships have more... Uh, shields and they do armor and shields regen while armor does not all right there we go target we were able to entice the target to come out of hiding and then we took him out oh yeah we got a booster Makes it getting around a whole lot quicker. And when you get into your main piloting career, uh, after you get out of the starting area, it's kind of nice having some components that you can slap into your ship. Doesn't matter if you're going neutral, uh, rebel, or, uh, well, neutral, alliance, or empire uh, focused. You know, having a couple upgraded components is always a nice thing. All right, we're going to just head towards the docking bay here. We should get contacted in a minute. There we go. Mission to land, and down we go. This is one of my favorite aspects of the game, the flying. It has always been so much fun. All right. Ah, you've returned. It looks like uh, it looked like you were going to lose you out there. Nope, but you survived. Clearly, you are one of the best pilots. It's time to send you to another quadrant. The loose, uh, the lucent Avaya is now safe. Will I be working for you? Unfortunately, not, my friend. I only oversee the lucent Avaya and her activities. By the way, your computers have been cl uh, cleaned of all traces of the black NV virus. Mission Excellent. Accomplished. Complete. You should meet with Elise if you uh, want to continue to help us with uh, eliminating the Black Sun from Ordnance Hall. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, will do. Thank you. New mission received. Hello, Elise. What you got for us? Uh, then uh, let's get you on your first assignment. We'll see how how you fare against Black Sun thugs. What's your name? That um, Scoso the Card. That's me. All right, Skosa Thakard, uh, let's see what you're made of. Uh, your first assignment involves patrolling the Bright Jewel Ribbon. Are you up to it? We are indeed. Keep your wits about you. So we did grab something off that last mission. It was this. It's an ion engine, sub-pro light ion engine. Let's see how this compares to our current engine. You can see the two comparisons here. It's less mass. Oh, sorry, looking at armor there. There we go. Uh, this is what we have installed right now. Uh, it's not as durable. Reactor, en reactor energy drain is less. The mass is less. 
but it is not as maneuverable. The top speed is only 44 versus 45, and all these here, the pitch, yaw, and roll, are all less than what we already have. So we will keep, we will keep what we have right now for the time being. Yellow for you, Mark One. Uh, no, I think the armor that we have is 250. Yeah. Until we get something that high, there's no need to replace them, you know? And I doubt we'll find anything out here that will have that much armor. I think they give you really good shields and armors for this for this starting area just because, well, you're pretty damn weak. You have no idea what's going on. And if they just toss you right into everything with no good equipment, or at least defensive equipment, you ain't going to last long. All right, we're going into a different area around the station here. I think it said something, something ribbon. The bright jewel ribbon is where we're headed. Let's see what we can do. If you look to the left of that 427 down at the bottom where our speed's at, to the left there's a little bar that's filling up. That's the energy of our booster. The more you boost, the more energy you use, and it takes time to refill that booster energy. So it looks like our booster energy maxed at 999. So we're going this waypoint now. As you can see, as we're boosting, that drops rather rapidly. Yeah, boosting definitely kicks you around, so make sure you keep a firm hand on if you're using a joystick or the mouse. Right now, I'm just using the mouse. Um, I often will fly with joystick, but I would have to find where I put it, <laughs> which is the hard part. I don't think it ever got unpacked after I moved back uh, home, you know? So I think, I think it's still in a box somewhere. All right, going to boost again. We have a nice, some nice energy in our boosters. Uh, once again, recharge. So. Yeah, definitely gets you where you're going a little bit faster, which is nice. Uh, there's that station that we started the, we had that first uh, mission in. That's the station that Han Solo rescued us from that the Empire was attacking. It's not in very good condition anymore. It kind of exploded. New waypoints. Oh, right over there does look like we're going to get pretty close to some enemies. Train Black Sun Blood something or other. We'll see if this guy engages. I don't think this is our actual target. He might be engaged with that other ship there. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be interested in us. We'll leave them be for now, just because I'm recording. If I wasn't recording, I'd probably go around and shoot all these guys, but then again, I'd be out here all day, wouldn't I? There we go. Like some attack. Uh, patrol, yes, yes, yes. Kill stuff. Will do. Three targets remaining. So we just basically have to kill things in this specific area.
No, I don't think that one was part of our group. Some of these might be too far away from where we're supposed to be. Nope, that one worked. Nope, I bet you'll work. Get wrecked. There we go. One target remains to be destroyed. I bet you you're him. Look at you trying to get on my tail. There we go. Returning home. Hit them boosters. Get there a little bit faster. Can hear fighting going on behind me. Alright. You want to rumble? That's fine. I can always use more cra uh, cash. Alright. If someone else wants to tussle. The problem with is with some of these is that they will continue to respawn in. Which means you can get into a situation where you just can't get away from the baddies. And they can chase you for pretty good distance. If you want to look behind you, you can hit the period or point delete key on your mouse pad. Or not your mouse pad, your number pad. That will allow you to look behind you. It's very oddly placed. You might want to move that to a more accessible button. Because it does help to like check your, your six. Now, obviously, the booster doesn't do too much for it, but hey, every little bit helps when you're flying long ranges. Gets you there just a wee bit faster. Alright. Now, we found a couple new boosters. I wonder if any of these boosters are better than the one we had. It's possible. I knew they were up to something, uh, them tricky black sun. It did well, I suppose. Thank you. I'm going to send you up there to save me, boys, the Keller brothers. All right. Will do. New mission received. Quick, easy, to the point. Uh, go up there, save my boys. Gotcha. I think we can do that. Let's take a look at these boosters. See if they're worth... Uh, flipping in there this is the one we have installed the other ones that we just picked up uh, slightly less mass slightly less for reactor drain booster energy is a thousand total recharge rate is slower consumption rate is faster acceleration is slightly faster but less top speed all right not interested this one uh, reactor energy drain is less. Uh, a little bit more mass, but I think we're still okay, just barely. Um, actually, we have about a thousand of no, we have about eight, uh, seven hundred to play with. Um, uh, mass, uh, booster energy max is at a hundred. Booster recharge rate is slower. 
consumption rate is less, acceleration is more, and just about the same max speed. Considering we're really looking at acceleration rates, or the top speed that is, I think we might switch over to these more specifically for the consumption rate. Uh, two is not going to be that big a thing. All right, we'll keep what we have for right now. Hopefully we'll find some more ones here, uh, some better ones here after a bit. Never can tell. Uh, neither of those were bad. Well, neither of those were much worse than the ones that we already have. So we're going after this guy. He is being an attack. He that guy is the guy we're trying to defend. He's being attacked by a Black Sun fighter. Just try have to get out there quick enough. As you can see up on the top right screen there, we have our target selected. And you can see his shields are getting hit. So far they're pretty good. The, this guy He's going to knock a little bit off on his next pass, but we'll catch up, I think. Be worried that he has too much trouble. Yeah. Bad guy didn't have much of a good run there. Looks like we have a piece of old station here, or maybe it's new station. Turn it to engage. Let's catch up to our buddy. Catching up to targets is a nice way of uh, using your... Whoa, 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 why are you shooting at stuff? That's my friend. There we go. Right now... Hey, hey, back off. You're supposed to be the good guys. In fact, he is a good guy. We can't actually damage him. Which is slightly annoying, considering that he's shooting at my escort target. Where are we supposed to go after these guys? Oh, we have to capture them. Shit. Okay. You. <laughs> I, th I thought we were escorting him. Nope. Uh, we're capturing him. Alright, we got him. Alright, so we are... Are we escorting this guy now? Uh, where is this now free? We have to get out of here as soon as possible. The Black Sun may be fast on our tail if I didn't see. Alright. I'm assuming we're, this is now us escorting this dude. 
as he flies into an asteroid. Who put an asteroid on our waypoint? Holy crap. What the hell is shooting at us? Seriously, what is shooting at us? Ooh. Got a little close to that answer. There he is. Alright, bad guys dealt with. Catch back up to our dude. Would you stop shooting at friendlies? Stop. Go. You. Go. Go away. He's a good guy. Would you stop shooting at him? Stop shooting at him. Ugh. I don't know what the deal is with that. All right, match speed with this guy. Okay, let's go in the same direction. Now we can hands off here. We're not. There you go. Away he goes. New mission received. There's another one? I guess they were brothers. Usually means more than one. Hopefully, the good guys are not shooting at my friendlies. I don't know why that one local friendly pilot was going after my target or my escort. I guess he was kind of bad to begin with. I think we're just docking with this guy to help him repair. Now you can see the little uh, city down there on Ord Mantel. Let's go under the giant rock. Again, docking maneuvers. All right. It's always a rough dock, man. Please stand by. All right. Once again, we are in escort sounds like he's powering up he's learning how to fly for the first time as well not quite sure why he's using evasive maneuvers but they're not very good evasive maneuvers. You have to go a little faster than like two miles an hour. Walking speed is not good for evasive maneuvers. Don't actually know if I need the waypoints at this point, as it were. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to lose this guy, considering his speed. At least he's flying in a semi-straight line now. Yep, target. Whew. These things just tear through shields. Makes them actually quite fun. Weapons that affect shields, I won't say are always better, but I think they have decided advantages because, I mean, shields recharge, you know? So, if you have something that goes through the armor and the shields are still recharging, it's going to have to keep going through those shields. If you have something that just eats through shields, Armor doesn't recharge. You're not getting any extra armor. You're not getting any extra hit points. So it's like those are fine. Mission accomplished. New mission received. Up. Oh, returning home. Head on in here. We'll see how many more this uh, lady mission this lady has for us. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's their return home marker? Why is that our return home marker? All right, whatever. I was headed back towards the base. Base, but apparently we have to go over here first. Why? Don't know. Actually, you know what? I am gonna put this back in the middle. That way you don't have to search the screen as much for stuff. Bet you those guys are going to engage. It'll be slightly annoying, but what you going to do? I think they put the return home waypoint in the wrong location. <laughs> you have to return home, and they'll be like, oh, oh, no, I meant the other home. We're going to try and keep this fight headed towards the waypoint as much as possible. He's still back there. Or maybe not. There he is. Coming in on an attack angle. Oh. Right, so we're actually on a little patrol. I thought we we're done. Guess not. There we go. Looks like it kind of gave us a patrol bath back towards the starbase. Sure, that's fine. 
Reminds me of the Wing Commander days. Kind of get your target, and it's like, no, you still have to go through a couple more patrol areas on your way back. So you've taken out an enemy capital ship, all of its fighter escort. You know, nope. You still got waypoints to hit. It was great. That's another game that was just amazing from back in the day. Still one of the best ever. Eventually we're going to get to some other Star uh, Wars related games. I'm going to try and get through all of them. I've played through, obviously, many, many of them. Probably the vast majority of them. But like little things to big things. I mean, we're going to go all the way back to things like X-Wing or TIE Fighter. Or maybe even go back to do things like, oh, the first Dark Forces or even like Yoda stories. And then all the way back up through things like uh, Jedi Fallen Order. You know, and we're going to be doing that for, well, about two episodes a week for forever, for however long I'm kicking. Oh, jeez. I missed the next waypoint. Once again, thought I was going to the station. I bet you it tells me to go to the station. Here I am thinking about all the cool Star Wars games we're going to be playing, and I get highly distracted. Hmm. Going back to the Wing Commander games wouldn't be too shabby either. Oh, hello. Oh, ambush. It's a lot of guys. Now we had six targets. stick on these guys. I have more than enough shields to absorb whatever dude was attacking me. There he is. Got two more targets. Come on out. Go down. There you go. See? We did have a couple more to take out. And that's why you have waypoints. Because sometimes when you think it's over, it ain't. That was one of those things with uh, Wing Commander. You knew you'd be have like four waypoints. It's like go here, 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 and here. Four, five, sometimes three. And it'd be like, all right, your main objective is at waypoint two. But then you have to come back home through waypoint three. And undoubtedly, you would get beat up at waypoint two. And you would have, like, almost no ship left over. <laughs> and you would hit waypoint three. And there would be bad guys to fight through. It would be like, no. It's a lot easier to stay all put together in this game. I bet you're pr uh, I bet you're thinking you're pretty great for saving the Keller brothers, hmm? Uh, what am I saying? You did good. Thank you. All right. Anyway, me boys came back with uh, pertinent information regarding the weaknesses of the Black Sun bases. We call them suckers the Salient Trinity, and that's why the Black Sun were so intent on capturing them. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like they have attacked again. Let me go help them. All right. New mission received. If you enjoyed or disliked this video, I do hope you comment on it and give it a thumbs up or down. If you want to see new videos, please hit the subscribe button. And to be notified of new content when it comes out, hit the notification bell. But for now, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day, and don't forget to bring it no matter what you do. And I will see you guys in the next video.